this in the wild with Chris. Some time back, I saw my good friend Bjorn wearing a pair of Fjellraven pants I couldn't recognize. Light fabric, sip offs, perfect for uh, wet and hot weather as well as for traveling. So I got these, the Fjellraven Travelers MT trousers. The material in these pants is Fjellraven's MT Echo, which is 73% polyamide and 27% uh, cotton, wrinkle free and quick drying. They weigh about 400 grams. It comes with uh, two pockets in the front, two pockets on the side, and they're quite big, uh, big enough for uh, maps and even my drone, and two pockets in the back. There are loops for belts. They're a little bit elastic, so you might not even need a belt. The version I have is the three stage. You can sip them off and wear them as shorts, ending just above the knee. But you can also wear them, uh, sip them off down here and wear them three quarters, but nah, I'll skip that. Now, okay, for field testing them, I just wore these traveling from Sweden to Belize. It's a 40 hour journey, I mean, it includes uh, overnight in the US. But they were perfect for traveling. Uh, I mean, I could keep them on full length on the plane when the AC was hot and sip them off to shorts when it got cold. They stayed uh, quite wrinkle free the whole flight. So besides the food stains I put on, they, they looked very nice. And now I'm in southern Belize. It's a uh, rainy season here, meaning it rains a lot at night usually. And when the sun comes up, it's really steamy. So perfect weather to try them out. Well, so in order to really field test the pants, I've gone out in the bush and it's, uh, they're working fine. They uh, keep me a little bit protected from the vegetation but you have to be aware of the uh, more spiky uh, bushes. A bunch of mosquitoes here. But they are a uh, good stretch. You can move well in them. And uh, keep me fairly cool. And I've also tried them on the beach and traveling. Uh, both in uh, long pants and with the with them sipped off by the knees. Well, time to continue the field test. Uh, they dry quickly when they get wet or sweaty. So what I can say is they work well in very different conditions. They work well in an urban area. It works well in the bush. It works well on the beach. So to sum it up, what are the pros? They are uh, versatile trousers. They are very lightweight, well ventilated, plenty of good pockets, and the material is quick drying and doesn't wrinkle that much. And what are the cons? They're quite thin and they don't protect you against thorns and prickly bushes. Also, they are quite pricey. These retail uh, brand new about 1700 Swedish kroner or about 170 US dollars but you can always try to find them on sale like I did they come in different version depending on where in the world you are so you might want to check around to see where you can find a pair that suits you well now a question I have is how long will they last here only time will tell I've had my Vida pros for over 10 years and except for a few small holes chafing down where I have the boots, they work fine. And I hope these trousers stand up and they have the same shell having quality. Well, that's all I got right now. Yeah, that is actually howler monkeys, not far from here.
enjoyed this if you did please give it a like uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share it until next time this is in the wild chris and i'm out <laughs>